Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for a new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person feel about Aquarius? Okay, I've got the two of pentacles, justice, Libra energy, ace of wands, I mean, there's definitely curiosity and like interest here. If this is romantic, um, I feel like there's there's chemistry here. Ooh, the two of cups. There's there's definitely some sort of strong bond here. You're getting two twos. You might be seeing twos lately. There's a spark here for sure. Um, love readings can be romantic. Obviously, this could just be a new friend. So this could just be you finding out you and this and this person are very passionate about the same things. But, and they they feel like very comfortable with you. They feel like they already know you on some level, right? Check out my soulmate reading if you haven't already. Um, but this is someone who's like, wow, there's just, there's this strong bond with Aquarius that just feels easy. But there's something here that this person feels like would not be fair to you because they see you as someone who's always compromising, always trying to be fair, always trying to see both sides of a situation. What is that justice card about? The five of swords. Hmm. The seven of pentacles. The three of swords. It feels like this person is unsure if they want to invest just yet. Now, while they feel really strong about you here, Aquarius, there's definitely this spark. I, I think it, it feels like this person's worried about self-sabotaging, but also like messing with you. Like they don't want to. They enjoy being around you. They like you, but they also don't. They don't, they just don't know right now if they want to fully invest and they feel like that's not fair to you. And I feel like it could be because there's something else involved here. Three of swords can represent a third party, like another say romantic partner, but it could also just be like work is getting in the way. Maybe it's a legal situation in the way. It could be family, right? Swords are the mind. It could just be like this person's like, again, they self-sabotage. They think they're like, they're not good enough or, you know, they're not worth your time or something like that. It's like this person's almost waiting for something to come to fruition here too, and they just don't know when that's going to happen. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, if there's a lot of worry here, there's a lot of anxiety. Like it's like this person feels very strongly about you, but I feel like they contemplate going back and forth on if they should invest in this or not because they, they feel like there's something unfair here to you. It could be them juggling between work and being in a relationship or something like that. Like, I feel like they go back and forth, but it's hard because of how strongly they feel about you. Now, I don't know if you're in some sort of legal situation yourself, Aquarius, that you might be worried about. This person sees that and they feel like they don't know how to help. Um... Anything else about that Nine of Swords? The Page of Cups. It's almost like their own feelings kind of scare them. But you know what I got when I just picked up this Page of Cups? 
It didn't come out as the Knight of Cups or the Queen of Cups, right? I feel like this person doesn't know if they have enough to offer you right now. Could be financially, or again, it could just be because their mind is elsewhere with something else right now. There, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that there's another person involved, but maybe their mind is just still processing a breakup or a, a loss, a pain of some sort, right? And so I feel like this person, they have a lot of like negative conversations with themselves. They worry a lot. There's fear that it's not enough, that they're not enough, that they can't offer enough to you, even though they feel very strongly about you. Hmm. Anything else about that Three of Swords? Two of Swords. It's just like the indecision here. It's all about the mind. It's all about this person being like, I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to hurt uh, Aquarius. It's almost like this person has, has already decided, like, if they, for instance, feel like they're not good enough, they feel like they don't have enough to offer, that they would end up hurting you, that they would end up putting you in a position where you're at a loss. And they're like, I don't want to do that. So do I invest in this or not, right? Or perhaps, like I said, they're still sort of processing through some, some sort of heartbreak or something like that. They're like, I don't know if this is fair to Aquarius to like come forward when I can only offer, you know, this page of cup cups instead of the knight of cups or the queen of cups, right? Like I feel like the feelings are there and the interest is there, but this person just worries like, I don't want to be unfair in some way here. It could also be that they're waiting for something like financial to come to fruition here. I don't know if I said that already, but it came through again if I did. So heavy air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, especially Libra. Let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? Four of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Now you're getting four, four. So look out for two, two, four, four. Actually, two, two, two. Two of pentacles, two of swords, two of cups. Page of swords. I mean, this person definitely wants to take it to the next level here with you in some way, shape, or form with the four of pentacles. They don't want to let this go. What's the page of swords about? But they're, they want to know where you're at. Three of wands. Like they, they want to know what you want right now. I feel like this person doesn't... Tell me more about the three of wands. It's almost like... First of all, very muddled thinking here. Um, it's almost like... Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you, Aquarius. And I, <laughs> I don't... Th I think this happens like one every 100 readings. I started recording your reading and I was probably about like 10 minutes in and it just felt so muddled that I was like, I, I feel like I'm not making any sense at all. I need to start over. So I like cleared the space a little bit, like did some breathing and started this reading similar energy is coming through so obviously this was the message but it, it, it still feels muddled it's a little more clear than the first time around but it basically just feels like this person sees you as someone who is very goal oriented very organized very very step by step you know exactly where you're going how you want to get there and this person is still sort of figuring it out so they're trying to embody the same kind of energy as you like i know exactly what i'm doing i know how to get there i know the plan here um, because they want to take it to the next level here with you, whatever that looks like. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Yeah, look at Ace of Cups. This is someone who wants to go with how they feel, see where this can go with you, not let their past or anything else get in the way or hold them back here, not let their mind get in the way, but they feel like they need to have a plan. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. They need to have a plan here to prove to you, like, look, like I, I don't want to add any more stress to your life I want to show you that I can show up that I can um do these things for you or show you that I have I have a plan even if it's to like gain financial security or something like that wheel of fortune yeah this person just keeps thinking like here here's what it'll look like the luck will change the wheel will change but like I have to take inspired action to get there right I feel like this person could also be very big on like law of attraction like making sure their mind is in the right mindset you know, if you're trying to gain financial stability, but then tell yourself every day, like everything's too expensive or I'm broke or I'm this or I'm that, it like it, it doesn't line up. So I feel like this person's also working on that. By the way, don't use that word. If you're huge on manifestation, do not use the word expensive because um, you're sending a message to the universe that you only have so much, 
right? Of course, things can cost more money, but say it in a different way. Say like, oh, that costs more than this. But if you stay expensive, it sends a message like, I can't have that, right? You want to send the message that you can afford whatever you want. Um, and then the abundance will, will come in because it's a vibration you're trying to reach. But um, yeah, this person basically wants to show you that they have a plan too, that they're not just sitting around or worry or you know sitting in heartbreak or what have you tell me more about the queen of swords it's like the hermit they want to show you that they can be smart about this i gotta be honest this person might like it's it's like there's an offer coming here a new beginning but then they might also say you know there's some things i just have to work on my own i have to figure this out on my own what exactly that could be will be different for everyone but it's basically to kind of prove to you like that's how this feels Aquarius like they want to prove to you like look like I have a game plan I'm going places I have something to, to say for myself I keep seeing that king of pentacles again could be like to start a business or to start um you know find way to be more grounded more stable more financially secure whatever it is but this person does want to take it to the next step with you I don't know if this is um you know if you're already talking to this person maybe they want to introduce you to family if you've already done that maybe it's talking about traveling or moving in or engagement for some of you right like there's there's definitely a new strong offer coming in here that I feel like is even if you've already been talking to this person it's like a new beginning and if there's no one in your life like it is coming the wheel of fortune is here as well like there is someone coming towards you that has strong feelings for you they just worry about where they're at now and is it enough is it enough right now so what's this person's intentions then with aquarius like what do they really truly want what is this person's intentions eight of pentacles to put in the work not only with themselves and this connection but like i also feel like it's like a, well, an actual work thing three of wands yeah like they're they're not messing around this is someone who's like okay like if they've had some sort of game plan to start a business or to take that leap of faith towards something or they're like showing me like look i'm doing it i'm not waiting around anymore there's that three of swords again what is this three of swords ace of cups they want they mm. Whatever this person has been through, the seven of pentacles again, whatever this person has been through, invested in before, something that didn't work out or some sort of loss that they're just still like hung up on or maybe has like defined them in some way, they're trying to instead embrace this ace of cups, open up their heart, invest into something new. And they want to put the work in to show you like, I, I will do this. But I don't feel like it's just for the connection. I feel like it's also on themselves. I don't know if this is like a physical change this person might be trying to do. Or again, like a money change or something. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. But they want to show you it's happening now. I'm not waiting around for this. Yeah, new cycle here, the world. Old cycles closing out, especially if it was financial uh, issues here. Right, I see the Nine of Pentacles right behind that. It's like this person's trying to show you they can be independent. They can Maybe it's codependency. Right? Maybe this person has fear of abandonment, an inability to sort of like be on their own or they like depend on other people too much or something like that. Like because of what's happened to them. I feel like this person is trying to start fresh, trying to start new with you here. And they want to put the work in to show you that, Aquarius, that things will be different. Anything else for intentions? The Four of Swords, it's all the same energy coming out here. anything else the queen of wands I'm trying to get back their confidence here I'm trying to just be fun loving and show you like and make you feel good too that's what i feel like this person wants to do they want to make you feel good i feel really tired all of a sudden aquarius i don't know if someone's laying in bed or they're like sleepy or something but all of a sudden i feel very tired like i feel very like i could go take a nap right now I don't know what that is but what's the potential outcome though 
Page of Cups again. So again, like curiosity here. I have a crush on you or I like you. I'm interested. I want to show you, but they just kind of worry, is it enough? Page of Wands. It could be because this person's younger than you. Right? Lots of messages coming in here. Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords about? What is the Seven of Swords about? Four of Cups. Page of Pentacles. This person does not want to miss out on this opportunity with you. To want, they don't want to wonder what could happen between the two of you. They think about this a lot. They think this would be a missed opportunity if they didn't at least try with you. Anything else about the Seven of Swords? Like what exactly? Queen of Pentacles. The Hermit. You know, this person really looks up to you. They really admire you. They see you as someone who does all the things and you do them really well. And so if this person views you as the queen of pentacles and they view themselves as the page of pentacles, they're, they're really seeing like they, like, again, it's about not feeling like they have enough to offer here. So this could just mean like the two of you just sort of like keeping it at conversation, just getting to know each other, just asking a lot of questions, just, you know, um, talking a lot right all these pages here but there's something there's something about this person's energy where they feel like they're not quite where you are they feel like they look up to you you've done more you've accomplished more or you're at a different space in your life again it could be because of age but it's just like this person feels like they have a long way to go why the hermit now, I don't know if this is you taking some time to think about this or what have you, but I see a lot of um, pages here, a lot of messages. The Eight of Cups wanted to come out. This might be you being like distancing yourself from this. Yeah, like maybe just seeing it as like it was just a fling or something like that. I don't know. I feel like there's potential here because you have the soulmate card. Like soulmates can be in our life for a short time or a long time. Right, but they're here to help us grow, evolve. Hopefully, we do the same for them. So that there, that's here. There is this this bond, this connection, right? But it's almost like I don't know. It feels kind of like eh, like I don't really know where this is gonna go. We talk a lot, but like now what? How will Aquarius know who this is? The Wheel of Fortune coming in at like a very uh, Justice Libra energy divine timing here the seven of wands i think this is someone who keeps to themselves yeah the, the tower someone who keeps themselves at like scorpio energy here could could be someone who just comes out of nowhere here feels like all of a sudden they come in and all of a sudden you're thinking about all these things that you never really thought about before whether it's like how to work with this person or like how to deal with what they're going through or how to fit them into your life or something like that like it just feels like this person kind of keeps to themselves. They wor they worry a lot about throwing your life off balance. I don't know. They just see you as someone who's like got a good routine going on or like you, you come off to this person like you've got it all figured out and they worry about disturbing that. It's like as much as good that this person can bring to this scenario, they also feel like they're causing a lot of chaos, which may not even be true, but that's how they see it. Any advice? King of Wands, Six of Wands, confidence is all I'm hearing. The Nine of Wands, keep your confidence about you, like do not um, lose that. Two of Cups. You might just be guarded too because you're like, I've been through some things. I don't know if I can trust this person because of where they are at in their life or I don't wanna be the one who gives and gives and gives and this person just doesn't give back. Not because they don't want to, but maybe just because they can't right now. And it's like, well, do I want to take the risk of being with someone who says, you know, later down on the line, I'll be able to do all the things. But right now I can't, right? But at the end of the day, you feel this connection too, Aquarius. Right? Don't lose what you're doing because I feel like whatever you're doing is working. Tell me about this. Tell me about this King of Wands, Six of Wands. Whatever you're doing is working. Three of Cups. I don't know if you're like getting some sort of recognition or something like that, death. Something's transforming here for you. Like you're having a new beginning here. So don't lose sight of that. Like whatever you're doing is working as long as you keep your confidence about you, but you're you're guarded about this connection as well. Like you don't know. You don't know if you can trust this person. 
Hmm. Why the Two of Cups? Yeah, maybe overcoming a fear. Because you're like, I feel something strong with this person, but like, here's all the reasons why this probably wouldn't work out. And they feel that too. They feel like I have so many reasons why this wouldn't work out either. Because they, they, they feel less than in some way, or they feel like they're just not where you're at. Um, so maybe it's overcoming that fear and just going with how you feel instead. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So it might be hard to, to kind of believe that based on what you're seeing. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So perhaps you're very business savvy and this person is trying to learn that from you or something like that. Maybe they make decisions that you're like, why are you doing that? You have a, long, a lot to learn or something like that when it comes to money or business. But they want to learn from you. They do, they, but there is a part of them that feels like they can't offer as much to you because of that. Eagle, triumph over troubles, obstacles. And look at carrot, opportunity or windfall. So you're getting multiple cards here. Like there is a change coming. This isn't going to be forever. You will overcome this with this person. Um, they will overcome whatever it is they might be facing, especially with that three of swords, right? But it, it doesn't happen overnight. So I guess it's, is it worth it? Angels, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Like you're good, Aquarius. No matter what's happening here with this person or outside of this connection, like you're, you're, you're good. Would you get the month of April? Which obviously we're in right now, so could even be telling you that some the change will happen within the next month or the next few weeks, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me, Aquarius. Wall, misunderstanding. So perhaps that's what this is. Just a misunderstanding between the two of you because you both feel this pull towards each other. Right? Let's see. We got brunette female, darker hair, intense, focus. This is how this person sees you. It doesn't necessarily have to mean you're a female um, or even that you have brunette hair, but <coughs> I'm so sorry, Chris. But just that you're very intense, you're very focused. Ice King, boss, entrepreneur, detached, right? The King of Swords did not come out, but I feel like that energy is here of being um, the entrepreneur, being the boss right? Look at destiny, luck, chance, meant to be. I don't know. <laughs> I see past life. Can you help clarify that destiny card, please? Um, it feels like you got the wheel of fortune twice. Look, family. I don't know if this person just becomes a part of your family, right? Which could be like marriage, right? Or it could just be that this becomes such a good friend that they are like family. They're like part of your soul family, which says here, right? Um, so you're meant to meet this person, Look at gifts, surprises, presents, openings. So there's, there's is, as confusing as this reading has felt, and even though this is the second time around, it feels like there's also understanding that it is more good than bad, if that makes sense. Um, and then you got, if you believe, again, kind of speaking to mindset here. What do you believe is possible with this person? What do you believe is possible to have in connections, period, right? Um, and then, because you just got trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Right? So listening to that inner voice, but all I feel like it goes back to manifestation, whether it's with money or this connection or both or something else. It's like whatever you believe, like believing is seeing. It's not seeing is believing. It's believing is seeing. Right? You have to tap into that vibration, into that energy. You got a new earth. <laughs> it's happening. Keep holding the vision. I don't know what this vision is that you have, Aquarius, but don't give up. You're getting the same message over and over. If you believe, trust. It's happening. Keep holding the vision, right? Like protection, triumph over troubles, right? The caterpillar, change. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So I don't know. It, like, let me know in the comments. Is it that you've already met this person, they're fairly new, things have been a little strange, you're hoping that they do change, right? Like a, the, there is an offer coming here. Is it with money? Is it with both? Like, let me know. Um, and then you got mending. Now, I see how it's on the side. This deck 
has an upright message and it has a protection message. So because it landed like that, I'll read both. Um, but this is the last card in this deck, Mending. So let's see. You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you are to move forward. Separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do. That's exactly what was coming through with that Three of Swords. Even if you're not aware of it, the energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and an honest redress. Wow. Okay. And then the protection message says, Heartbreak is a strange healer of souls. Our grief strips away our masks and loosens our tight hold on our separateness, where we view ourselves as I and the world as it. Loss allows us to see ourselves as part of a larger scheme, opening us up to sympathy, empathy, and dependence on others in the moment when we can't hold ourselves together. And it leads us to become one with the greater whole again. Pain and suffering is a part of life and none of us will be immune to it. Can you view this loss, this pain, this dissonance as a way back to source? Let your sorrow break your heart wide open. You will never be left behind. You are loved now more than ever by spirit who does not want you to feel alone. One day you will look back and know this truth. Wow. Powerful message there. Aquarius. So it could be speaking to something with this person, but it could also be speaking to the past, right? I always try to find... It's too much time, but um, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Okay, wow, we got the same numbers again. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. If something here does not resonate, though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got S, O, F. I, A, R, number two again, number four again, the number seven and the number eight. They said add those, okay? Two and four is six and seven is 13 and eight is 21 or three, okay. I don't know, maybe threes are relevant too. Um, I hope something resonated here though Aquarius I'm still sort of like contemplating like I'm, I'm trying to understand fully what's going on in this energy so feel free to leave a comment below if it did resonate if it didn't check out your other placements as well um, but if you still have questions as well Aquarius you can always check out my link in the description box for mystic sense uh, there you can connect with a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free um, but let me know in the comments, did this resonate? Do you know who this is talking about? Um, yeah, let me know. See if you can find someone else in the comments that's going through something similar perhaps. But please uh, like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I'm sending you so much love and so much light.